a game. It's fun to play. <laughs> and we're going to show you how to play the game. <laughs> peek a <-boo. laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> but that isn't the game we're going to play. No, sirree. But to play this new game, I've got to make some magic. And the game is called... What Happened First. Now, I'll make some magic. Hocus! Hocus! Abacadabra! <laughs> you see? There is a picture of Jim. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about Jim. And to play the game, you have to listen very, very carefully to the story about Jim. And remember it. <laughs> Are you ready? Huh? All right. <laughs> now, this is the story about what happens when Jim's bedtime comes. When his bedtime comes, Jim first takes off his clothes and then puts on his pajamas. Then, when his pajamas are on, he says his prayers and gets into bed. After he's in bed, mother comes and tucks him in, and then Jim goes to sleep. Now then, can you remember all the things that happened in the story? Huh? <laughs> Watch. Here are the pictures that tell what happened in this story. But they're all mixed up. And now we can play the game. The game is, can you remember what happened first? Now, did this happen first? <laughs> or did this happen first? Or did this happen first? Or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. this happened first, didn't it? Remember, the first thing that happened in the story was Jim got undressed and put on his pajamas. <laughs> so, we'll hang that picture up here. Now, <laughs> what happened next? Remember? Jim said his prayers and got into bed next. So, we'll put that picture there. Now, this happened last, of course. Mother tucked him in and he went fast asleep. So, we'll put that picture there. Now, you see, if you will remember what happened first and what happened next, you can remember the whole story just the way it happened. See? But say, you can play the game What Happened First in many, many, many ways. Well, you can play it with a comic strip. Like this. First you take the comic strip like that, you see. Then you take the scissors like this, and you cut the comic strip out. Like this, see? Now you just take your time, cut it out like that. And then you cut it apart like this. And you cut that out, and then you cut this off here. Like that. Now, put the scissors back where they belong. Then you look at the story that the pictures tell, like this, see? Then you mix the pictures all up like this. Then you try to remember what happened first. <laughs> That's just another way to play the game. Or... You can play the game by telling about things that you did. <laughs> Say, could you tell about a birthday party that you went to, huh? Maybe like this one. Could you tell what happened first at the party? 
Could you tell what happened next? Another way to play the game is to draw pictures. Draw pictures that tell a story. You could make them tell what happened first and what happened next. Say, I'm going to show you another way we can play the game. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you a story. You listen, watch the pictures, and remember. You must remember what happened first, what happened next, and then, whoo, why, you can tell the story just the way it happened. <laughs> now, this is another story about Jim, so whoo, now listen. One day, Jim was playing with his airplane. A rubber band made it fly very, very high. But the rubber band broke. It was his last rubber band. He would have to find a new one. So Jim told Abby to wait until he came back. Then he went to look for a new rubber band. First, Jim came to a barber shop. The barber asked Jim, why don't you play with your aeroplane? Jim said, Oh, the rubber band is broken. Do you have a rubber band? Mm, no. But he gave Jim a candy stick that looked just like a barber pole. <laughs> Thank you. And off he went with the candy stick. Then Jim saw a man painting a fence. The man said, is your airplane broken, Jim? No, said Jim, but the rubber band is broken. Do you have a rubber band? The man said, yes, I have one. And you may have it. Jim said, ooh, thank you. Then the man said, I will do something else for you. I will paint stripes on the wings of your airplane. Jim said, oh, thank you. Jim said, now. still waiting for Jim. She wondered where Jim was. And she decided to look for Jim. Abby came to the barber shop. She sniffed. Uh-huh. Jim stopped here, Abby thought. Then Abby came to the painted fence. She sniffed the ground. Yes, sir. Jim was not far away, thought Abby. <laughs> and there was Jim. Jim says, look, Abby, I have a candy stick that looks like a barber pole. And he gave Abby a piece. And he said, oh, my airplane has stripes painted on the wings. He said, and look, I have a new rubber band. Woo! <laughs> now we can play with my airplane again. And that is the end of the story. Now, <laughs> let's play the game of what happened first. You tell the story to me. <laughs> Remember? What happened first? <laughs>